Deadman mode is some of the riskiest PKing there is on RuneScape and today I'm going to be logging into the original Deadman mode that used to get millions of views that was arguably some of the best content there is on RuneScape. There's a small community of DMM players who still play the original mode and go out on PK and fight each other every single day. For context, the gear people risk on here is worth much more. For example, Dragon Claws are worth 100 mil main game GP, and AGS is worth 50 mil main game GP, and a Spectral can be worth anywhere from 100 to 150 mil main game GP, and people swap from the service to buy and sell these items all the time. I've got access to two max accounts to go run around and try and find some fights and see how fun it is and maybe bring some activity to the server, so without further ado, let's get back into some Deadman Mode PKing. Also, if you're here and you're a fan of my PvP but Hardcore Iron Man series, my last episode actually didn't get pushed out to sub boxes, so I've linked it again in the description. There's also an 100 mode giveaway going on on that video right now, which is going to be announced in the next Hardcore Iron Man episode, so go check it out if you haven't. So on this world out of bank, it usually does not matter if you're in Max or you're in Mystic. Mysticers will fight Maxers because that one chance they could get could end up profiting them 500 mil main game GP, so it's definitely worth their time to fight at a year disadvantage. I was fighting this one guy in Mystic when another guy teleported it in, and I thought he could be the easier kill, so I jumped on him. That was right, I managed to get him with the barrage to the Gmall combo. Four basic mystics, but the Elder Mall is worth 10 mil main game GP, so it's a nice little kill to start off my 45 career with. Sometimes there'll be four separate PKers all on at the same time fighting each other, and it sort of just turns into a battle royale between the four of you. You keep switching fights every time you tally in, and it's actually a lot of fun fighting different peoples back to back. And a lot of the fights go on at this time were max fights. Good fight, I just killed this guy for max by the way. I just killed Phoenix Sword for max. Big loot, big loot. Yo. So coming into World 45 following that Elder Maul kill, I get myself a max kill. Now this is worth around 170 mil Deadman mode or 305 mil 07. Me and this guy were fighting a bunch over the past couple days and chancing each other. Honestly, it was just a matter of RNG and the Debo managed to come through for me. But a 300 mil kill just like that in the back, a very nice kill to start it off with. So the guy I was fighting at the start of this video who I ended up killing for the Elder Mall wanted a rematch with me as long as that I de-geared to Mystics and Dehide. So I'd still be risking like over 200 mil 07 worth of gear and I still get gear advantages but if he does hit me I don't have all the def defense bonuses that max gear gives me. And I guess... Bro, what? I killed him. I killed him, by the way. Fighting that guy for a good bit, managed to get him with the AGS for the ZGS loot. Okay, and that's another kill. ZGS and a bunch of other stuff. Let's see what's in this key as well. I don't know if it'll be too good. Uh, one mil. I'm happy with that. So when I was doing these fights, I was actually risking my Ancestral and my Armadale in the bank. So I was Xing these guys a lot of risk, and that's why they were down to do it with me. And I got another fight with this one, 18, in Mystics as well. And I was sort of risking the same sort of risk again, and he was down to go for it. Dead? Come on! 13 for the KO, good fight man, that's another KO. He drops the Ja Ja Ja, and that's a big kill. 
Let's pick that all off. Good fight, man. Okay, and that is 5.9 mil in the looting bag. Okay, and how much loot is that? Only 1 mil. So I got another Mystics fight versus the guy I killed for the ZGS and Eldemol in this video already. He really wanted a shot at revenge. Black? That's not good. Um, and unfortunately, I was in a bank fight on World 45 when multiple games and websites around the world all went down. This wasn't an internet connection on my end as I was actually live streaming it at the time. A bunch of games went down and I just so happened to be in a World 45 fight and I ended up dying, logging back in, losing the max cape and everything that my friend had. Fortunately enough, he didn't really care that much. 45 is pretty inactive nowadays and he gave me an account just to let me go have some fun and try and get a video for you guys. And I can move on to my friend's next account who also didn't really care if I go die on it. So luckily the 45 content doesn't stop here. Who the fuck is that bro? Billions bro. I wish I had a GMR right now. <gasps> bro, I thought that was so much bigger than it was. Bro. I'm gonna barrage KO. I'm actually gonna brought no way! No, nope. dude. Bro! Damn, that just went just lost a skull, dude. Bro! What? The Debo could have killed him itself, dude. How do you know that? Oh, I don't know why I did that, bro. Oh my god, he could have died through prayer, dude. Bro? Did you just see what HP I specced him on? He's dead. What? He's so dead. Good fight. I knew I was gonna kill him, bro. I knew I was gonna kill him. I knew I was gonna kill him, bro. I knew I was gonna kill him. So after chance of that guy more times than I can count, the RNG finally came through and we managed to snatch ourselves another max kill. 108 mil in the looting bag and around 6 mil in the key, but this kill is actually valued at around 270 mil dead man mode worth. My second max kill on 45 when I've barely been playing it. And that's over 500 million kills we've gotten so far. So really nice. Yeah. You guys at the bank already? Bro, I just could have killed him so easily. He's dead. No. Oh. Dude. I should have killed him by a bunch of times by now. I just died. I actually just fucking died. He said, "See, I'm sorry, my life. I just got, I just got killed." Ah, oh, fuck me, bro. I was unsculled though. Oh god, bro. But yeah, that happens. I got on this guy at Motherlone Mine, I think, and chased him to the Mining Guild Bank where we got in a bank fight. I had two or three opportunities to kill him with my claws and Debo. And he turns around and goes for the full arms Debo throwing axe. Fair play to him. I was not expecting it at all. As you can see there, I actually misclicked my brew and if I drank it, I would have ate. If I put my tank on, I would have ate. If I had just, you know, not been an idiot and been predicting the fact he would try and kill me, I wouldn't have died. But I really wasn't expecting the Debo Thronax in full arms. I wasn't expecting it at all. So fair play to him. Good fight. And that's a 500 mil 07 death on my end.
but that is the fun and that is the risk you play when you play 45. Bit of a roller coaster of this video, two max kills, one max DC, and one max death. The GP isn't too much of an issue. I can swap back in for everything I died for and I can continue PKing. So if you guys want to see another 45 PKing video from me, let me know. Now, the other reason I made this video is to bring some attention back to DMM. In my personal opinion, Jax have let World, 54, World 45 die out too much, not given it enough updates or dev time. At this time, I think it's a failed server. What I would absolutely love and what I think the RS community in general would enjoy, especially in a time like this where a lot of people are at home in lockdown, playing RuneScape a lot, is for a new permanent Deadman world. Starting from fresh with actual updates and development time put into it before release to ensure that it remains active and successful. Not only would everyone have loads of fun playing it, but there'd be so much more fresh and enjoyable content from all the content creators who decide to play. So on that note, I want you guys to leave me a comment down below. Would you or would you not play a new original Deadman mode? And if so, what updates would you suggest so that it remains enjoyable? If you guys have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Other than that, I will see you guys later and thank you guys so much for watching.